Now you guys know that I like Jordan Peterson and I agree with most of his views, except the ones where he's attacking internet anonymity and a couple of others. But uh, the way he expresses those views are becoming questionable. He's turning into an edgelord on Twitter. I mean, look at what I mean. The liberal government has announced that in 2035, every major passenger vehicle sold in Canada will need to be electric. Now, I understand the frustration. I would be upset if they tried to do something like this in my country. But to scream at the internet like an old man may not be the best recourse. Keep your damn hands off my car, Justin Trudeau. Or face the consequences. Dude, what consequences? What, what, what are you going to do? You can't even articulate it on social media. Like what? Up yours, woke moralist. Truly. You can't do anything. You can't, you just, I mean, look. If you want, you can start a political movement or you can join one. You can learn about how Marxists did agitation and propaganda. Try to teach people. Start a discord. Teach people how to subvert institutions. And by maybe like 2035, you will get some people into some positions of power. But like, oh my God, the consequences. Dude, the man during COVID, okay, he went live and he told the people that they have to celebrate Easter in a more inventive way. They can't celebrate it with their families. And then literally a couple of hours later, he got with his secret security and he went all the way to his family house, you know, becoming like this biohazard weapon just transporting the cough all across the country and when people found out no one cares the man is wearing blackface do you, do you understand this like the, the man is, is called the man with a thousand faces for a reason he does cultural appropriation on a daily basis i bet even now he is culturally appropriating some shit no one cares what can you do against such power what how, what, what chance do you have a, against an entity that literally doesn't give a shit and then uh, now, now, like, he was attacking people at YouTube. Like, hold on, hold on, because there's more, there's more. Like, um, okay, so he's against the climate because they're trying to take his vehicle away. I understand that. You know, I respect that shit. But um, as, as we go a little bit up, who makes these decisions? On what grounds? For what purpose? I am absolutely unimpressed with the decision of some bloody YouTube minion to slap a climate change context box on my video. Hasn't YouTube learned anything at all from the Twitter debacle? Like, what do you think will happen? Do you, do you think that there's going to be another Elon Musk that buys YouTube? And, and he's going to, like, do to YouTube what they did to Twitter? What, what, what exactly do they need to learn from the Twitter debacle? <laughs> Man, um, I don't know. Like, maybe this edgy thing is going to work. Who knows? Like, but but I, I just find it cringe. I, I don't know, like... You can't, you can't just threaten people and act like you're all high and mighty when you're just like one man behind a computer. And you can't even articulate what those consequences are. You know, like maybe if you say the consequences, they would be afraid. But oh, social media, terms of service, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.